Ken Levine. I'm the creative director of Irrational Games. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. That was the deal. In this game, you actually play a, a named character, Booker DeWitt, and he has this mission to go to this floating city of Columbia, the city in the sky, to retrieve this woman, Elizabeth, who's been imprisoned there since childhood. And she's at the center of the narrative, the story of these two characters fighting through this world. She's helping you out in combat. She's keeping you stocked with ammo in combat, like actually like tossing ammo at you. She's opening these amazing portals to other realities where she can bring in really powerful elements to help you in combat. I got a chance to play the first two hours of the game, and I got to say, it's a wee bit violent in a good way. And I would like to delve on that just a little bit. Tell us about the hook mechanism and the melee kills and that kind of stuff. It's a violent world, you know, the, this world of Columbia. It's a very violent world. And so we have these things called skylines in the world, which are sort of like roller coasters that you hang from with this hook, the sky hook, that you can shoot people on and jump back and forth and knock them off and land on them and crush them on the ground. But your melee weapon in the game is this sky hook and you can hit people with it but you can also do these things we call executions, which are these extremely um, graphic things where you grab them around the neck and they can break their necks or even do worse. Your homes are ours! Your lives are ours! Your wives are ours! You know, we really want to make sure that the game besides being this great world to explore and everything, a great story, that it really delivered on, as a shooter. You have 13 or 14 weapons in the game, all of which are modifiable, some two, some three, some four, some five, three different ways. Eight plasmids, which are the sort of superpowers you have in the other hand. For instance, you have um, Deathling of Devil's Kiss, which is sort of like a fire grenade, but also if you hold down, and fire to the ground, it creates a trap, like an explosive mine. And so you have all these different ways you can modify your approach. And you can, if you're a melee guy, you can really load out to be a melee guy. If you're a sniper guy, you can sort of load out for that. Up there! I think I can help! Just tell me which one you want! That one! Now! You have to make a lot of interesting choices in the game. And they're really to make you sort of engage deeper in the moment. And some of them are quite, I think, disturbing. You're going to be kind of always wondering, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the wrong thing? You know, who, who am I sympathetic with? Who do I believe? So it's only set in a sort of a, a world of questionable morality. Looks as if some desperate fella called this place home. What does that make us? Last question for you. Tell us about the secret ending. That's it. All right. <laughs>